Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we're going to be working on the brakes on this Alice WD. I've been uh, restoring or in the process of restoring, really just been rebuilding it. Um, so, as you know, the good old brake pins on these uh, W Series tractors are a pain in the rear end. So, um, I've got a tool, I bought a tool that's used to pull those out, and I'm going to put that thing to the test and kind of give it a uh, review. So, let me flip my camera around here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here is the uh, pin removal tool that I got, and uh, just open this thing up here. It looks pretty simple. I'm just curious how well it'll hold up. I've never used one. I've always tried uh, heat and all kinds of other things. Uh, so there's the tool. And it basically just fits over the pin. And then these bolts will go on here. And you screw those in. And that supposedly will pull the pin out. So, I don't know how strong this metal is. I'm hoping that it's really strong because those are a, a bear sometimes. So, we're going to put this thing to the test on a pin I haven't touched, haven't done anything to it, it hasn't soaked, nothing. So, we're going to try that and see what happens. Okay, so we're set up here underneath the tractor. There's our pin. Got to take this little keeper out. That's a nine sixteenths. Let's break it free. Put the ratchet first. All right. Keepers out of the way. So that gives you full access to your pin. So we'll take our tool, slot it up around the pin. But I'm just going to square it up here and tighten up those two grade eight bolts. This is where the magic's supposed to happen. I'm skeptical. So I'm going to use my impact three quarter inch just to tighten up. Man, that is amazing, guys. That thing is already pulling out. I don't see anything like it. Probably the hardest part. Let's keep an equal pressure. I can't believe it. Right there's the pin. Like I said, I haven't soaked this. I haven't done anything. longer bolts or put something in behind this thing. I'm amazed, I will say that. I wouldn't have thought this thing would have done that. But man, it sure did. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get this one out. We're going to slide over to the other side and see if, if we just got lucky with this one or if it's really that good. Hang tight. All right, so we're still on the same side. I just wanted to put these extensions on there. I just made, just made that up. It's just a little, I think that's 5 8 thread. 
nut, 5 8 thread bolt. That'll give me some additional length here. So I can need to back it in just a bit. slide it in this way from the bottom. I like to have it over top there if I can. Alright, so we'll just go with that. We'll get my drill back out here. There it is. Should be able to pull this out by hand now. Yep. There it is, guys. The pin is loose. All right. Well, that's one less pin I'm gonna have to buy. One less pin I'm gonna have to cut. All right. We're going to uh, now I'll slide over to that other side and we'll try it there. And see what happens. All right. Now we've moved over to the other side, same scenario. Take the keeper off. I'd like for that to go that way, but I just don't think it wants to. Alright, so we just slide it. Go make sure I had that was sticking out just enough. Alright, there we go. So it slides over it. We'll hand tighten both sides to hold the tool in place. And then I'm going to use my drill. And it's already moving. Just down and right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So either somebody had been in here before and put anti-seize on them. Or this is a really awesome tool. I've got one more test because I've got that 45 diesel you guys have seen me work on. I got the chassis right behind this one. And I had one of them I had to cut out. And I've got one of them that I haven't touched. So we're going to try it on that one. slide over to the 45 diesel and see what it does on that one. Okay, so a little different scenario here. Now I've got this 45 from the engine back flipped upside down here in my floor so I could get all this cleaned up and ready for paint. Here's my pen. I have applied some heat to it at some point, but it wasn't a whole lot. And if you look inside, it's rough. I mean, you can tell that thing has been So let's see what happens. Slide it over. It's gonna be a lot easier working with this thing upside down. I'll tighten this thing up here. some point 
and maybe some anti-seize or something on it. But either way, I think I paid seventy dollars for this little dude, and I was debating on whether or not to do that. But to be honest with you, I've already got my money's worth out of that thing just in those two pins. I mean, I did those things literally ten minutes tops from both sides and just getting set up. So. For me, that saved me having to buy two pins, which are about 50 bucks. And even if you get some used ones, you're probably going to pay 25, maybe 30 dollars. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've already paid for that dude. But anyway, I'm going to continue working on this dude as well. And I may just leave the tool on, kind of soak this down a bit with some penetrating oil. Um, and then I'll uh, just keep working on it and we'll see what happens. I think having that outward force on it, pulling out is going to help. So we will uh, continue working on that. I won't do any more video on this. I just want to kind of go over this tool. So uh, anyway, I got that from uh, DJS Tractor Parts. They're on, on the web there. So got some W Series tractors with pins, I would highly recommend going ahead and spending the 70 bucks and getting that thing, because um, I think it would be well worth it. Anyway, um, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Hit uh, like and subscribe, and uh, stick around on this uh, Alice Chalmers WD and all the other Alice Chalmers projects that I've got going. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.